All right. How are we looking? How are we looking? All right. Hope everyone is doing awesome. Let's see where are we at. All right. Hope everyone is doing awesome. What time is it? Um. Okay. Seven thirty-six. And we're going to talk about doubling our client base, doubling client base, doubling client base. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Okay. I want to make sure I got all my stuff hooked up. My notes. I'm excited. I hope you all are having a great night. Let's get to it. Class is in session once again. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. You know it's about that time. It's about that time. Tis the season to be jolly. Tis the season. All right. I hope everyone is doing awesome. Double your client revenue. Double your client base. By the end of the year, we're going on, period, end of story. That's where we at. So, if you're watching live, comment live. If you're watching the replay, comment replay. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see where we at. Okay. All right. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. So if this is your first time joining me, my name is Coach J. Um, I am a business and mindset coach. Um, I specialize in working with women who des who desire a life of freedom by coaching um, amazing people for themselves and, and being able to impact the world with their gifts and talents and skills. But we work on um, authoritative content and messaging so that they can attract their dream clients into their businesses. So um I went live this morning and I'm going live once again tonight. And this is going to be a very good live. It's going to be a very good conversation to have because we are going to be focusing on now doubling. So this morning we talked about how there is a, what is a, um, the middle class is gone and all these other things. But now it's time to start walking into um, a new dimension of actually taking massive action in the work that we are supposed to be doing. So today is what, Tuesday, and we are, we should be focused on making sure that our businesses are at optimum level, optimum shape, so that we can take this bad boy into the new year with some level of clarity, some level of focus. And, um, but I have some things I want to talk to you all about because I have been having conversations with different women who are still in kind of that middle ground of decision. Like, are we, am I doing this? Or am I doing that? Am I really ready for this? Am I really ready for that? And I want to be able to give you some pointers and some, some insight as to what it should look like by the end of the year, if you want to see some clients on your roster. Okay. If you want to see some clients on your roster, 
And whatever you are doing that's currently getting you clients, please continue doing so, okay? That's another thing I want to also mention. <laughs> so um, if you're watching live, definitely comment live. If you're watching the replay, comment replay. Give me some hearts if you are here. Feel free to share this broadcast with those you know. Can you see me clearly? I don't know if you can. I don't know if y'all can see me all right. Let me know if you can or cannot. Um, Like I said, I'm going live and this is the second time today. Second time today. So we are here. We are in the building. <laughs> we are in the building. So let's just jump right into why it is so important that you double your revenue, your client base by the end of the year. It is so important to do that. So the first thing we're going to do is really slide into um, how we look at the type of clients that we want to work with, right? So we already know that this is the era of everybody should be in position, right? So if you are just now starting this content, like you can watch, but it probably won't apply to you because you're just starting or you have no clients whatsoever. You really don't know what you want to offer. I'm trying to give you some insight before you start commenting or even come in the DM and say, well, I didn't hear you talk about this. This conversation is probably two steps um, away from where you should be just because this particular video is going to be all about people who are already in business and already serving clients. I hope that makes sense. So with that being said, let's just, you know, just go ahead and be real clear. As we know it, doubling your client revenue means to double your impact, right? So double your impact. We're doubling our revenue. We're doubling our um, our activities, we're doubling the way that we see our businesses at this point. Like the perception has to shift. It has to change. We can't do what we were doing at first. We can't do what we were doing at first. That's over. That's done. Okay. So we talked about that this morning, as far as the middle class, talked about the men, talked about all of that. So this is where the rubber meets the road where people are starting to make money. Okay. This is elderberry juice. I mean, I told you I'm 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 keeping myself healthy this season, honey. Um, <laughs> so just wanted to put that out there. So the first thing is first, the way that you see your business has to shift, it has to change. So how we see our content, it, we have to remember, we have to remember that. Who are we attracting, right? Who are we attracting? And if I I can't see, I, I'm looking at my phone trying to see if y'all are here. Uh, if you're here, comment live, y'all. Let me know who's here. Because I can't see. <laughs> I'm trying to look on my phone. Um, who are you attracting into your businesses, right? Who are you attracting? Who are you bringing in? Who do you want to help? All that good stuff, right? Who are we helping? Who are we servicing? Who are we going after, right? These are things that we need to know. These are things that we need to really keep in mind as we are going after our companies where we have to be deliberate in this season. We have to be deliberate, okay? We have to be very, very focused. Hey, Fabian, this is it, okay? This is literally it. So we have to be deliberate. So when it comes down to who we are serving, I'm going to be honest with you. You're going to have to start working with people that are in the upper echelons, individuals who are resourceful. You can't serve people that you feel sorry for. Okay? You cannot serve people that you feel sorry for. You cannot serve people that you really, like, you know, I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm still trying to help them. That is over. That's over. You can't serve those type of people anymore. Okay. I just want to put that out there. You need to be focusing in on, you need to be focusing in on individuals, individuals who can afford. 
Yay, I saw that, Cammy. Thank you for coming. Yay. I'm so excited. Also, too, also, too, the type of clients that you are bringing into your space, they have to want the end game. Okay? So it's very important that when you are creating content, when you are focusing on bringing in the right people into your space, it has to be people that want the end game. They want what you offer. What is the end result? What is the transformation? What does it look like for them? What does the end look like? This is very important. Very, 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 very important. Because if you consistently bring in people into your world, that are not in alignment, like they won't do the work. They won't finish. So you have to be very diligent. You have to be very diligent and you have to consistently show people the end. This is really about that, okay? So number one, strategic content marketing, okay? You have to look at your content and you gotta say, okay, let me just step back. Let me look at what I'm doing. Let me look and see who I'm talking to. Because there's different levels. So if you are talking to people that are in the affluent class, there is a difference in how you talk to them when you are trying to bring people in on a lower price level. On a lower price level, listen to me, the lower price level, you're going to be talking more to their emotions. Y'all get that? I'm saying, let me. You, do I need to say that again? You need to focus on emotions. Yes, education, right? Yes, doing some case studies and some testimonials and some social proof. Y'all need to start bragging on the clients that you have worked with. I'm sorry. You're just going to have to. These, like, these days, you need to be able to show proof of work. Everybody in your, like, in your world just about has been coached they've had services they've worked with a service provider on certain things that you offer so you're going to have to show that you know what you're talking about and that you're legit this is why i talk about my clients all the time when they slam dunk their you know their offers or hit different milestones in their businesses i showcase that why is that because you need to know that i serve real people real humans with real problems and they solve their own problems by partnering up with me as their coach so they could get over the hump and never be broke for the rest of their life, period. Because if people, like at this point, if people want to be broke, they're being broke on purpose. They're being broke because they want to be broke. That's what we do in the matriarch. The matriarch CEO coaching program is all about creating content and messaging, having the right messaging, specializing, making sure that this, their offers are very succinct, that they have an offer suite, that they can go and get their clients, the type of clients that are going to run. We have to start, like I told y'all coaches, we're weak. We're too weak right now. I don't know what's going on, but we need to step our game up. There are people right now, like this is the time in the season. If you're going to be a coach, you need to be coaching. People already know when they come into my world, there's a likelihood you're going to be coached, even in the comment section. If you keep telling me, like I just told somebody tonight, if you keep telling me, oh, I'm getting ready to, that's a trigger word for me. That's a trigger phrase. I'm going to say something. My coach hat is on, on these apps. Like it's not going to, either we're going to do it or not. I'm just saying, y'all quiet. Y'all let me know who's here. Y'all, please don't be quiet. Like I need y'all live in the comment section. Let me know who's here. Give me some hearts. This helps the algorithm. You're here for free value. Give, give me some bumps. Give me some bumps. That's how we do it. And this is also how, even for y'all, like when y'all go live on your platforms or whatever, y'all tell y'all people to, to bump it up. 
Look, you ain't here to just to shoot the bubbles. You're here to bring value and impact. There's a cost to everything. Remember that y'all y'all hear what I said? Like take take these gems, take these gems. Like you show up for people, and people just sitting on there. Just no, there's a cost. There's an exchange. Oh, I'm doing the dishes. Why y'all doing the dishes? You see what I'm saying? Like you get your people to start ramping up. That's how you build your tribe. That's how you build your audience. That's how you build visibility. Y'all see what I'm doing? I'm doing exactly what y'all should be doing. I don't have time to go live. Do you, listen, you're going to have to make time. <laughs> y'all stop doing that. That's a, And many of the reasons why, like the, uh, the content that you put out, it has to be at top of mind. Jay, it was like, oh my God, you just show up. I show up because it's my business. This is my business. Duh, you're supposed to show up. That part, I don't understand when people say, well, I just, you know, I, every day. I mean, do you want to get paid every day? I mean, seriously. So when you're doing your content, right? When you're doing your content, do, like all that whole seven ways to be productive and Seven tips to upgrade your mindset. That is over. Okay? Talk about things that people want to hear. How to make six figures as this, or how to build your brand doing this, or create this in order to, you know, achieve love. And you, people want to know how can they apply what you are teaching. The information I'm giving out tonight is information that you can take and actually apply right after this live. And the only compensation that I am receiving, I'm, you know, I'm expecting from people is your attention. The this is the attention economy. Did y'all know that? No. Absolutely, Christina. She said practical application is important. Absolutely. I dare y'all to get more practical with your content. I'm going to build my tribe. I just want to build. I need somebody. I don't know. Have, I don't have very many people in my lives. You have to consistently build. You have to consistently build. You have to consistently be at top of the mind. So none of that generic little bitty stuff oh christina you never heard of your touching economy let me know mm -mm. let me break on my notes honey let me break on my notes because see that's that's to open up a whole nother level um let me know attention economy so it's a, a approach it's an approach to understand that the, the, the biggest competition right now, listen to me, the biggest competition is the attention of the human. It's the attention of the human. So think of it like this to anybody who's never heard of it. We are in a situation right now as a, so, as a society, right? So everybody's on social media trying to grab everybody's attention, which is also one of the reasons why you see me live again. Absolutely, Christina. Yeah, she's an ADHD coach. I love Christina's content. And so when we talk about going live, when we talk about creating content, it is so Im important. It is imperative that you begin to create content and get visible. That's why you feel like it's so much content overload. But this is the thing. There's a lot of people yelling online, right? There's a lot of people talking online. There's a lot of arguing going on online. But who's saying what you need to hear to take action today? 
These are the people that you need to be following. These are the people that you need to be close to. These are the people that you need to be hopefully investing in because you are ready to change your life. So your content needs to reflect that. Your content needs to reflect, like I got to get in people's face. Like I can't hide anymore. Like if people are hiding because of whatever insecurities or whatever stuff they got going on, that is on them. And these are people that really don't want it the way they say they want it. I'm just being honest. Hey, Adrian. Hey, Ashley. Who else is on here? I'm sorry. I don't even know whoever. Who else? Uh, I got Fabian. I got Ayana. Hey, Ayana. Hey, Cammy. I said, uh, saw her earlier. Okay. Yes. Like, so attention economy, like I'm going to go here. Attention is worth more than oil right now. Hey, Asia, attention is worth more than oil. Did y'all know that? Ain't that something? Ain't that something? That's, that's really, really something. Because everybody's competing for it. Thank you, Ayana. Oh, I love that. I'm new. She said, I'm new, new, but I'm locked to see your frequency right where I need to be. Yes. I love that. I love that. I love that. So going forward, when you look at your content, when you look at your, as you look at your, your writing, right? Your messaging, who are you talking to? Well, who does this align with? So you can't be generic. You can't be like how to change my life in a year, you know, or I want to live my purpose. That's really old. Like we can't, like that's, nobody is doing that anymore. You really do have to step into strategy. Okay. That's why I work with my clients on strategy. This is what it looks like. Like Matriarch CEO coaching program. I work closely with my clients. Like we do one-on-ones. We do boxer coaching. When they have mindset stuff that come up, I'm there. When, they, when they're having issues with a certain strategy or a certain uh, uh, heel that they need to get over, boxer coaching. This is what we do. Because this is the this is the, the rubble meets the road right here. Everybody right now that's asking for coaching, you are serious about changing your life. Like you have no other choice. And you're willing to do whatever it takes to, to scratch up to the surface. Like I'm, I'm fighting for my destiny. I know y'all don't like the word fighting because it's not feminine. But at this point, I would rather fight for my femininity to be in my soft era than to be struggling in an era where... Everything is downward spiraling. That's not where we're going. You see what I'm saying? So I, I got to know that if I'm going to be in a space and in a community where I'm going to see results in my life, like I got a client right now that's in Jamaica. I got clients that are traveling the world. Like this is like while everybody's struggling about the gas, they're listening. You got some clients, some people that just don't listen and it's taking them a long time. And the longer you take, the more tired you become because you're tired of not seeing results in your life. Amen, somebody. So that's number one. You got to get strategic with your content. Okay, you got to get strategic. You got to start aligning up and you got to start showing your values in your content because people need to know what you believe. People need to know how you roll. They need to see your, your personality. Some of y'all are too stiff online. You're too still. I don't want to offend. I, I don't care if you got the bishop following you. I really don't care. They can go on. Ain't nobody. I, I'm not dropping my destiny for nobody. <laughs> I'm just telling you. Number two. Okay. So first was strategic Content marketing, okay? So are you doing what you're supposed to do? As far as content, are you talking to the right people? Are you talking to the kind of people that you actually wanna work with, all right? So if I am a coach, 
if I am a coach, listen to me, I need to be talking to people as if they are already in my world, but giving them the showcase because this is what it feels like to be in my space. Because if she's good out here, I can only imagine how she is behind the scene, behind the door. Y'all get what I'm saying? Okay. Number two, implement. This is how we're going to double our client base. Y'all listening to me? If y'all hear noise, my daughter is watching clothes. Lord Jesus. Okay. <laughs> so number two, implement a consistent posting schedule okay i know it's hard to post i know it's hard but you need to get some type of scheduling software you can get um hootsuite you can get buffer.com you can use the meta business suite did y'all know that uh, meta facebook has a scheduling software tacked on i think it's just with um facebook business if I'm not mistake, mistaken, and you have Instagram, but you can also schedule on your phone. Like when you are trying to do it on your personal page, you can actually schedule content there as well. You just need to make sure you have your stuff ready to post, right? So you could do those things. So if you do have a nine to five job, if you do have other things going on and you don't want to be online all day, you can still schedule your post. That's what we do. It seems like I work every day, but usually I am posting on my scheduling software. I use Buffer. Okay. Why does it seem like she always have content? Because I've been doing this forever and I, I talk to people all day. That's another thing. If you don't have anything to post, you're not talking to anybody. I got more than, like I have content from here. Asia said, do you have pro? Yes. So you always have. Yes, Asia. We'll talk about that in Digital Lead Her. I'll show you. So the thing is. Oh, no, you should have it. You really should have it. So post regularly, right? Post regularly. The first post of the day. Second, third, and fourth posts of the day. Well, how many times should I post? You should post as often as you can in terms of just make sure it's quality, okay? I, I'm I'm not here to talk about quality over quantity, okay? I'm not here to tell you that all you need is one post and per week. That ain't what we preach over here because I'm gonna tell you this. One post per week is fine if you are ultra, ultra premium, okay? Listen to what I just said. If you hear somebody tell you that you only need to post once a week, ask them how much their offer is. If you're doing all digital products, you don't have time to be just posting just one time a week. You got to test content. So you need to post as many times as possible. You need to integrate video, stories, and your feeds. So our strategies change and shift, right? As we see the market change and shift, because that's just what it is, right? But at the end of the day, if we see that our client's roster is stagnant, or we're not increasing enrollments, then we have to make some very focused decisions. We got to make some focused decisions, which means that we need to step back and say, okay, what kind of business are we running? Are we running a business that we want to see thrive for the next 20, 25 years? And then over into the next generation, are we trying to set this business up for this? We got to start thinking about what type of businesses we're setting up and then move accordingly. So if we're doing hobby-based businesses, then of course we can be sporadic with our posts and our content strategies because we're not trying to build anything for the next 300 years. We're only doing things right now to just kind of keep us occupied, maybe make a few dollars to go get some groceries or buy a shirt or two for, or even assist us with Christmas shopping. But it's nothing that has longevity attached to it because we're not treating it as such, amen. 
Woo! Just telling you. Okay? Use scheduling tools. Get some help. Invest and see, it costs money to run a business. Maddie, turn up that washing machine. Sorry, y'all. Has to be mama. Now I'm back to coach. So use scheduling tools, shop around, look at your budget, look at your cash. So that's part of being me, you know, being a coach. I'm a mama to y'all, but shop around and look at some different softwares that's, that helps you to make a decision based on your cash flow. But you do have to understand in order to get the maximum value at that software, you do have to invest in that software, okay? So just want to make sure that that's clear. Hosting live sessions, hosting live, um, like maybe Q&A sessions, you need to be going live, y'all. I know that y'all don't like it. I know that some of y'all, it, it just messes you up. You don't like it. You don't enjoy it. You got to go live. You got to go live with good stuff. Okay, you got to go live with good stuff. You can't be uh, generic. You need to go live with some good stuff and you got to build up like, okay, so what is the intent of me going live, right? What is the intent? What is the reason for me going live? What is, why am I going live, right? What's the reasoning? Some people go live and just hold the phone and be singing and lip syncing to songs and cooking, right? <laughs> You have to practice as well. So if you feel like you're not that good on camera, you have to also practice. Practice makes perfect. When people start um, getting used to seeing your face, when they start, uh, um, um, you know, being used to seeing you often, then it becomes more and more and more comfortable for you. And you'll know your audience. You'll know how to roll and they'll learn you. They'll learn your personality, but you'll be able to also have some data. Y'all, a lot of y'all don't have data. That's why you're not like progressing in your business because you don't have enough data. There you go, Christina. There you go. Because everything is tied back to the strategy. So, oh, this is good. So everything is tied back to the strategy. So going forward, like, why am I doing this, right? So when I host master classes or workshops, why am I doing it, right? You have to start asking yourself, like, is this tied to the strategy? Is this tied to the end game? It's not just to have fun. And like you, like Christina just said, it's not to have fun. Like, we're not here to just, come on, y'all, let's dance. Hey, hey, this is not a party. <laughs> this is not a party. I'm not coming on here with music just, and I'm not here to twerk. I'm here to teach. I'm here to provide value. And I'm also, listen to me, I'm also bringing you into a place where there is a likelihood that you will say after this uh, live, or even during this live, say, all right, Jay, let me stop playing. Put me in, coach. Let's make some money, right? Because there I will be able to give you deeper strategy and specifics on what you need to do so that you can soar. Because if you're not converting on a regular basis, that's the problem. And if you want to grow this business and be on the up and up before the, the, the first of the year, you need to, to find some way. And we do take third-party funding, by the way. We do take, we do have other means. I just want to make sure I'm putting that out there. We have a firm and other options. All right. So 
You need to go live. Showcase your knowledge. What do you know about your field? What do you know about your industry? Do y'all have like, do y'all know what's going on in your industry? Some of y'all don't even know what's happening in your industry. With all this stuff going on, what are you telling your audience so that they can either make a decision? Do they need to assess things? Do they, because everything is right now, you need to be talking about how your offer is going to be beneficial for them for the long haul. This is a return on investment. And in fact, I'm going to go here. It's a return of investment and it's a return on investment. So whatever they're investing, the intent is for them to get back what they paid you and the markup. So they need to be getting extra and it needs to be able to pay itself over and over and over again for the long haul. So if your people are not getting a wealth or health or relationship component that is enriching their life and actually moving them into a, a different identity, you can almost forget it. It's not going to be the best offer. It's not going to be the best offer. That's why you have to be careful of when you're trying to put stuff together, like, oh, I'm going to put this membership together. I'm going to put this group offer together. I'm going to put this group program together. And you haven't talked to anybody. You don't even know what people need. And it's full of fluff and cotton balls and, and M&Ms and Skittles. You're not helping people with anything. <laughs> you're, not, you're not helping people with anything. You got to help people with things. Right? You got you to gotta be able to have the bandwidth to be able to see the totality of what you are bringing in and the type of clients that you want to serve because the end game has to match the objective. It just has to. Ain't no other way this time. Ain't no other way this time. You've got to showcase your knowledge. And then also, guys, it is so important. You build relationships. This is number four. Build relationships. Are you building relationships? Are you in the DMs? I don't know what to say, Anna. You sure about that? A lot of y'all be jaw jacking in DMs and you're not talking about anything. Are you bringing people to clarity? I offer every single day. I have to make an offer. You have to make an offer every day. Make an offer every day. That's a part of it. Make an offer every day. Every day. I'm going to say it again. Make an offer every day. Help people get somewhere. Show them something else. That's right, Christina. What is the strategy? How many clients are you bringing in? What, you know, what's the objective? What's the end goal? What's the end game? How are we getting there? The way that you show up, the way that you show up is the, the level of what you require from the clients or the audience that you are talking to. If you show up in a manner where um, you are showing up authentically, but you're also showing up in a way that's um, in alignment with premium, what comes out of your mouth, is high level. What comes out of your mouth is putting pieces together for your audience so they can make a decision and say, wow, what she said made sense. This is why, like, even with the, uh, like, I'll throw an example out there. Every time I create anything, okay, I'm talking about a course, a class, program, I because of my value system, listen to me, Check this out. 
because my value system will not allow me to offer anyone anything that is impractical, I'm not going to create it. If it's not practical, if it's not applicable, if they can't take the information and apply it to something, right? That doesn't feel good to me. So if I don't know something, I'm not going to teach you. If I'm if I'm not in alignment to a program or a service or whatever, I'm not going to teach it. If I can't teach it in its full confidence. So when people get like, for example, the M's, uh, uh, the matriarch CEO accelerator course, when I put that out there and it's still out there, I got people in my inbox that bought it and they're like, this is the bomb. Like this is literally the bomb. This lady, uh, uh, I don't know if she's on here or not. I don't want to put it out there. <laughs> but it's the it's the mini course level of the Matriarch CEO coaching program. So it's given the sales aspect. And the <laughs> one of the uh, customers, one of the tribe members that bought it, she was like, I've been up all night in this course, like just writing notes. She said, I have so many notes and she's referencing different lessons in it. This is what I'm talking about. In the courses, in, in the, you, you can apply this stuff. That's why I'm saying like for y'all, you've got to look at your spaces and look at your offers, look at your courses. Does this offer meet? You, we're not teasing anyone with information. We're giving them the information. We're giving them the meat because people got to eat off this stuff. It's almost as if that whatever you create or what any content, let's go even back to that. Even with your content, people need to be able to take something and apply it in their life or do some self-analysis. Like I should be able to look within myself. Like your, your post should be so good that people either take action from it, they, they share it, they get enlightened by it, they become motivated and inspired by it, they learn something different, they look, they show somebody. It even becomes a discussion piece. If people are not doing that with your content, if they're not looking at it, if they're not talking about it, if they're not sharing it, if they're not looking at your post and getting something from it that makes them think, there's a disconnect. I just love your content. That's what you should be hearing all the time. That's, what, that's all you should be hearing all the time. I love your content. Oh my gosh, I need to take action. Oh my God, I need to work with you. Your content should be so good that people actually go into your inbox and say, okay, I'm ready to, I'm, I'm ready to make this happen. Like I got to change my life. Your content opens up the door. Are y'all here? Are y'all, are we, are we woke? Look at your content. Look, in fact, everybody. Everybody, if you on here, if you're still on here, give me a, a one in the comments because I'm trying to wake y'all up. Y'all, y'all, y'all is, I don't know if y'all up. What I, but you know what, Christina, what y'all want, I want y'all to do, I want y'all to be present first. Be present and then go back and look and take notes. I, you know, coming from psychology, you need to be able to hear something once and then when you hear it again, it's retention. You retain the knowledge. You need a gateway and then you need something to hold it. You see what I'm saying? So y'all go back and look at this after and then take copious notes because right now you're it's sizzling. It's sizzling. And you want anything that's coming into your psyche, into your, into your ears, you want it to stick because now, because we have so, and this goes back to attention economy, Christina, is it's all about 
okay, now that people got this information, what am I going to do with it? Now that I got this information, what now? So now I need to be looking at my content because that is worth the time because that's still work. It's worth the time for me to go back and look at the last maybe 14 days of content, do some self-analysis and say, okay, did this convert? How did this fare out? Did people come over here and look at it? Let me look at my um my stats and my analytics. How did, did anybody convert from that piece of content? Like for example, me being on this live right now was a conversion piece of content. We just got three people. While I was sitting here talking to you in these 45 minutes on this live, we got three people that actually came in on this live, on this um for the um 2024 Power Planning Workshop. Right when I'm talking, Stripe was lighting up over here. So which means what? What does that mean? That means that this was a live, this, con this piece of content was worthy of me doing it again in the future. Because it did its work. Y'all see what I'm saying? This was a valuable piece of content. Amen, somebody. Build relationships. Let me go back over there. When you're building relationships, now this is the hard part. And I know like ads are, are pretty cool if you have the bandwidth and the cash flow for ads. You got to have the cash to do these things. But if you don't have the cash, Doing ads are going to be a little bit difficult for you because you don't have the money grip to do that. However, even if you do have the money grip, you can still do more relationship oriented work because why do I say that? When you build relationships, I want y'all to hear me like really, really good when I say this. Building relationships with people in your, in your audience and then also converting them into clients. They become longer standing clients. Not to say you're taking advantage of people. That's not what it is. But if they don't feel like they are connected to you, when they get into your programs, they're not going to be connected to the work either. A lot of people join programs and they're out and they don't ever return back to the coach. They don't ever go back because they didn't feel connection to them. They didn't feel connection to the work. So many of them don't re-sign because there was no connection to the, the sacredness of the work. I have a client right now in my container has been with me for two years. I have a client with, and she just opened her group program. I mean, her, her group house, her, uh, what is it called? The uh, group housing. I have another client. She's been with me for a year. I have clients that's been with me three or four times. They come back. They re-enroll. I check on them. I don't check on them just to check on them. I check on them to make sure that they're okay. How they're doing. I know their kids. I know their, their families. I know their spouses. I know their situation. They feel comfortable enough to talk to me about what's going on in their life because we need to fix it. I'm a coach. I am a complex problem solver by nature that's a part of my work i've had clients that went through big hills and valleys relationship issues and we and i coached them through it you don't find many coaches that do that it's a lot of coaches that you don't even see the coach and i know sometimes people say well you know you need you know eight nine different coaches i feel connected to the work that I do. So it's very important to me that I have my eyes on my clients because of the nature of the work that we do. I That is a part of my work and I don't care. I'm not changing up my model for anybody regarding that because I see coaching as a profession. I work my business the way that professionals do. And everybody don't have to operate their business like me, but that's me.
You'll probably never find me with a hundred clients in my container. I don't even want that many. First of all, my, my nervous system would shake out of control. It's too much. <laughs> That's too much for me. So some people are like, well, why don't Jay got a hundred clients? Because I don't want that many. Just thinking about a hundred women. Whew. I'm just saying. It's a lot for me, you know? But I build relationships with my clients because I want them to do well. That's just period, right? I want them to do well. And you want your people to do well. And you let them know you're rooting for them. You let them know, like talk to people for goodness sake. You already told y'all, human beings right now are struggling. They're struggling with connection. They're struggling with following up. They're, uh, they're, uh, they're struggling with trying to stand the test of time. They're struggling, 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 trying to figure out how in the world am I going to do this and how in the world I'm going to do this. And now, because they don't have a lot of staying power. Thank you, Adrian. Yes. That, that means a world of difference. People need to know that you're not a robot, basically. And that you know what you're talking about and that you fulfill whatever it is that you say that you deliver. That's a part of it, okay? That's a part of it. You gotta be able to fulfill what you say you're gonna deliver. You gotta be a woman of your word. And it starts with yourself. You gotta be a woman of your own word to you. So you got to build a relationship with your business that you actually like if your business is the vehicle to the best life that you want you got to build a relationship with it your your business has a consciousness it should have one if it if it doesn't have one that means you're not treating it like a business it's a hobby but once it starts picking up and picking up speed and people begin to get in your world and they come over into the fold where investment is they go come over the gate because they, they're paying the cost for the better life in exchange. They got to get over there and feel like something. So if you're going to double your client base by January 1st, you're going to have to start having some deeper conversations on a strategic level, figure out what people want, deliver what you say you're going to deliver, be a person of integrity, follow up, fix what needs to be fixed, Create the shift that they need to change. Check one, check in on them. And then also be okay with asking questions. If you don't ask questions, you're not going to get any answers. If you don't feel like, oh, I'm not doing anything. I'm, I'm just kind of in my own little world. Well, why did you pay the coach then? Right? You see what I'm saying? So you gotta have to get people's like what do they truly want? What do they truly want? And ask them if they are not like, for example, I I'll people already know I don't I don't work with starters like just creating their businesses, like from scratch you got to already have some level of business acumen right like you have to have already served clients in some capacity whether it's an llc or not or a sole proprietor but you need to be able to to say that you've had some clients before you've got to have that right so that's really important so then if we're going to we're going to make this work, we got to make it work because that's how you're going to show up and get more people into your world. Right. All right. So last but not least, make mistakes and collect more no's. You, you didn't think I was going to say that, did you? You didn't think I was going to say that. Make mistakes. Stop holding back because you don't want to make a mistake. Stop holding back because you don't want people saying no to you. 
I don't want to feel rejected. Get as many rejections as possible because you need to be able to get that out of the way. You got to learn your nervous system. A lot of y'all don't know your nervous system and you're avoiding people telling you no because you are ready to make money. You're not going to make money fast if you don't get out there and jump out there fast. You need to fill your calendar up with conversations and you need to feel, or you need to fill your calendar up with, you know, maybe every month you have a class or every month you have some type of workshop. You need to have something in order where you are bringing people into your world and giving them something for them to say, huh, I'm ready to move forward. I'm telling y'all, y'all gonna have to have something. Not doing anything is unacceptable. Well, Jay, I'm trying to, you know, people, you know, I'm trying to see if people will pay for what I have. Have you talked to anybody? No. I mean, how they go, how you gonna know? How how you gonna know? What's what's how do you how will you know? You got to know. You got to talk to people. I told y'all, y'all don't talk, y'all do not like talking to people for some I I don't know, but these are y'all are coaches and strategists and consultants and you got to how are you going to coach me? I don't know, that's a good point. I I don't understand. Because I'm going to tell you this, if you in it for just all this big money that you see that you think that we making and all this other stuff, I'm going to tell you, that comes with a price. Hello, somebody. Now, if you on here and you got some clients and you've been in my containers or you know what I'm talking about, y'all better say some of these comments and let these people know. It's going to come at a cost because you still have, when you have clients, you still have to make sure that they're getting what they need at some capacity in the scope of practice. Everybody don't want to make all this money being a coach and a consultant and all this stuff. And you got to understand that it, it comes with a price, baby. That comes with a price. And I'm not talking about just money. I'm talking about from a standpoint of your energy, you got to keep yourself full. You got to keep yourself full and you got to keep yourself full with somebody that can pour into you. This is why when they say coaches need coaches, that is a truth. You need somebody that you can pour in. Like, okay, I need to have somebody that I can tell this to or is how I'm feeling. Because if I am empty because of what's going on in my personal life, it's going to be difficult for me to hold space for people that are coming to me with their issues as well. Because my job is to coach women. If I can't coach with fullness, they're going to feel it. And I'm not saying you have to get a coach, but I'm saying that somebody, you need somebody to pour into you. Because I'm going to tell you this, when you are emptying out to people, to human beings, you're going to feel it. You're going to feel it draining from you. It, it's, an, it's an equal exchange. Yes, Ayana. It's really a, a, a reciproca re reciprocated energy. You have to be able to give and give. So if you are, like, you don't want to show up, if you're dragging yourself to the calls, if you're feeling like, I don't want to take, that is an a energetic issue. It's either you're charging too low, you don't have somebody in your corner that can feed into you, like you got to have people around you or you need to have someone in your in your executive corner that's pouring into you. You are a vessel. This is a lot of times, this is the reason why y'all are scared of taking clients. Like I have clients that are introverted, but they've been able to get $200,000 in contracts. Like all this going on in the world and my clients are thriving. Why? Because I don't play 
with their growth and development. They are CEOs. That's a lot to be a woman trying to manage a family, trying to manage yourself, trying to manage your energy, trying to manage your emotions, your body, your children, your spouse, your life period, and trying to coach people. You got to have somebody pouring into you. I mean, business is not easy. That's why you see a lot of people dropping out and quitting because they can't. They don't have the capacity and they didn't do the right investment. They gleaned for years and years and months and months. And now that it's time to execute, nobody is coming up to the plate. The real ones right now are creating content that you wish that you can create. When you can actually do, there's a science behind this stuff. There's a reason for the, the impact that the content makes. There's a science behind it. There's a whole framework behind it. My client said the other day, she said, I followed your framework and I was able to get people into my, um, onto my calendar and I was able to con uh, uh, close a couple of clients this week. Cause she didn't know like the style, but she used the framework that we have. There's has to be value in everything that you do. And I'm gonna close. Value has to be present in everything that you do at this point. There has to be value. Okay, yeah, we finna party. Value. You're not bringing any value when you're bringing people in and want to party. This is work. I'm not finna play Beyonce on here. Because you'll be thinking I'm playing Beyonce every time we hop on calls and you're going to come into a million dollars because you're trying to manifest dancing. That's not what we're doing over here. <laughs> That's all we're doing. We're actually doing work. <laughs> so we are open. We're taking clients in for the matriarch. It's four months. It's four months. When you come in, you need to get your roadmap done. I review it. I look at the specificity of your offer and your messaging. I help you uh, with pricing. And in this next season, what we're doing with the matriarchs, we're actually giving them their first 30 days of content. We're giving a whole document with hooks, messaging, pain points, desires, what objections that their client could possibly come up with. We have a framework for that. And I actually edit that document and give it to them. So if you don't even know what you're supposed to create, this is why you need help. We're actually starting that like this month. So if you are ready to stop guessing, if you're ready to stop going into confusion and wondering why folks, ain't, you need help. You need help. We are creating group coaching programs. We're creating offers for the affluent class. Like you can't serve people that you feel sorry for anymore. We're done with that, all right? So if you are ready, step into my DMs and say, all right, Jay, what I got to do? Or Jay, ask me questions. I, I don't mind. I want you to be clear, crystal clear, okay? So I hope this video has served this purpose by giving you some insight, giving you some support. Come back and look at it again if you're not clear about some things or if you're ready to move forward so we can stop guessing, so stop being confused. Because we have our matriarch calls tomorrow night at six o'clock Central Standard Time. And all the ladies will be there and we will be there to support and receive you accordingly. And you'll get access to everything as soon as you sign up. Like we don't hold back, we don't push it off. You get access to everything right then and there when you enroll, okay? All right, ladies, y'all have a beautiful rest of your night and I hope to receive some of y'all in our program. Take care, bye.